Hey guys, this is Christian from Extreme Boomers coming back at you with another strategy. And today I will be using all heavies, just kind of clearing my map. I, I don't know, I just feel this is the most HP force in Boom Beach outside of the Scorchers. So uh, the Scorchers, I don't know, I don't. I still don't really consider them a part of Boom Beach. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that's not what I meant to say. I don't consider Scorchers like uh one of the original boomy troops because it's not it was just recently added like last year so i just don't really link the two together but um overall this is the second most hp troop or the first main hp troop so uh the total army of hp or total amount of hp on this army is 12 no 225,000 or something like that so we do need to shock that and we do shock some of these over here because these cannons are gonna be kind of deadly to be honest and it looks like we're doing good on the left side but the right side isn't going as well we're gonna do that we are going to take out that with artillery we are going to move up for the base i'm trying to keep all my <laughs> all my troops alive but this cannon is not helping okay so i will see how much hp i lose my troops are not doing too well to be honest uh, this is a very, very bad strategy. It's just HP strat, so that means that, like, all the other strategies on Boom Beach, they are, they have a main HP troop, and then there's a damage troop. Like, most of, every, like, two combination troop. So, like, Heavy Zooka, Zookas are DPS, Heavies are tank. And it's just how it goes, and Scorcher tanks, Skank, or Torch. Uh, I lost 14, what? 48 diamonds there's gonna be a lot of jump cuts because I do not want to waste that much diamonds each time Okay, here we go level 58 kind of hard. Uh, I can't have a base that has an HP statue well, Let's go actually to an NPC base. This is not the NPC base to be doing that on to be honest like that's oh, that's bad Okay, we're looking at shock and all and this one looks bad also. I'm trying to find one without any tanks. I mean, any uh, boom cannons or cannons. Uh, but this one does have boom cannons and cannons. And it does have a lot of sniper towers. So we're not going to be doing that. I'm just going to keep looking for one until I find one. Carrot Feeder. I'll do Carrot Feeder. Because Carrot Feeder is an, a pretty easy NPC base, to be honest. It only has a few uh, DPS buildings or whatever you want to call them. So we're going to take out the cannons first. Because the cannons are on the front of the beach. Come on, take down this one also. Nope, not going to be that lucky. And then we will drop one here. We'll drop one here. We'll drop that. And then we'll drop that. That should drop down both of those. Yes. Okay, then we'll drop our heavies. And we will see how it goes. We are going to be doing a shock here. Just a shock. Because those things, they don't look like they do a lot of DPS. But they do do a lot of DPS. There's overall. And I am really, really sick right now, guys. Not sure if you could tell. But I have, like, a fever. And I'm not feeling good. So... Um, hopefully, it will go better later. And we are going to be doing a flare up here. Because we don't want to be hit by all these all these buildings around the area. Blah. And, okay. We're going to be doing a flare up there. We're going to be doing another shock here. We're going to drop a med kit. And that should pretty much kill off the base. We only lost zero. We lost zero? Nice. There we go. That's the army in all of its glory. We'll attack a few NPC players later on. I just want to not lose that much because I don't have a lot of time to record these videos. Um, but here we go. Cocky. We are going to beat Cocky. Hopefully. Yeah, Cocky is pretty easy. Um, drop that. We'll drop that. We will drop that. And we will be dropping that. I am super pumped to make this video, though, to be honest. Like, wow. If you guys have any good video ideas or topics you want me to discuss, stuff you don't really get in Boom Beach, like, I know a lot of newer level players watch the videos, so if you have a topic that you don't know the answer to or something, just tell me down below. If I can easily explain it, I will. If I can't easily explain it, and then I, I will make a video on it, because I think it's important for all players to to we are just gonna drop a ton of med kits I, I think it's important for all players to be able to know everything about the game and know a lot about the game and it's just that's important that is very important and since super silt doesn't really 
tell or doesn't i mean the support team is good i guess but not the best so they probably only have like one to two people on the support team but if i i mean i could easily help i've been playing this game for over a year now and we already dropped 100 diamonds on this video so i don't know how much longer i'll be able to keep going but we are trying to save should we do this base I am trying to, I want to find like a level 50, I should have not destroyed that level 50 earlier, or a base that has a major flaw, uh, yeah, what I was saying was, I've been playing this game for a year and a half, so if you guys have any, any, uh, questions whatsoever about the game, I will be more than happy to, uh, uh to tell you the answers to, should we try Smokey, should we do it, okay, we will do it. Well, actually, that's a shield gen. Okay, we gotta find a base that's easy to do smoky, smoky heavies. We'll try that. I think I did that a long, long time ago, a uh, smoky heavy battle, but in a, it turned out to be a major, major, major fail. We will try that again here. And actually, let's do one more NPC base, and then I'll do a smoky heavy attack. Cause we'll do we'll do this NPC base. Actually. Why would I even go from that side? I mean, okay, yeah, I guess it's okay. It's not the worst side to go on. We'll drop that. We will drop that. It is super late at night right now. I mean, not that late, to be honest. It's it's only 6.30. Why am I so tired if it's only 6 to 30? I do not know. And my voice is dying if you can't tell. And we will take out this. Boom. That should take out both of those. Good. Uh, this should be a lesson to you. Uh, Hammerman? Is it Hammerman that makes all these bases? Hammerman, this should be a lesson to you. Do not put stuff together in clumps or you will die. We will just be shocking that just to make sure it doesn't get a hit off. Or anything like that. Anything of that sort. We're going to be dropping uh, smoke there. We did lose one. But that is it, so I would say that's a pretty good success. Overall, the strategy is pretty bad. It's it's a really bad strat. We're not going to even retrain that. we got to find a low-level player around this metal count, so he has to be really, really good. And I hit attack here, so I guess we'll just go in and attack him. We'll see how it works. Um, not expecting too much, but we will be going from the left side because there's less cannons. Boom, 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 and we'll drop our uh, heavies down on the beach. Then we are going to let them walk up to the beach. We are going not to shock the shock launchers yet because there's not much DPS aiming at my troops. And then in a little bit, we'll drop them. We're going to be dropping uh, whatever that is. Yes. We're going to be doing a shock here. We're going to be doing a shock here. And depending on how this goes, I might be able to get another one in. Another one. Another one. We're going to be dropping that. We are going to be dropping uh, another smoke up there. The shock launcher is going to be focused on all those critter boxes. So that's super OP. We are going to be doing a flare up here. Just trying to flank the base. We're going to be dropping uh, our, our barrage on that. That should easily take that out. Yes. Um, what else do we need to take out? That should be it. Uh, there's that cannon here. We're going to just drop a barrage. Hopefully the barrage will be able to finish that up. And yes, it will, and it will also take down a bunch of buildings. And now we are just going to move into the base. I mean, it isn't the worst strategy. I only lost three on this base. But, I mean, I could have easily destroyed this base with all the Scorchers without losing any. Uh, we're going to be dropping a shock. I should have double hit that, but that was a fail. Anyway, we do beat the base. We only lost, like, four, which is pretty good, I mean, for level 56 at this metal count. He had pretty under-level defenses and a, kind of a major flaw in his base, but we were able to beat him. Let's just train up. Oh, we only lost three. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Okay, we're attacking Raja here for the last base. We do need to take down that, so we are going to. That was an overkill, but... Overall, I think that would is going. I think it's going to be fine. Um, we're just gonna drop our heavies down here, do a flare up here, do a shock there, and there we go. We're gonna be doing a flare up here. We're going to be dropping accidentally two smokes. I only this. I only wanted to place one smoke. We are just gonna be leading off our troops here. Not sure how well this is going to go. I did want to try this. 
uh, we'll see. Okay. When it's about to wear off, I will be dropping a shock on the shock, block, shock launcher. Because one shock will shock all my troops. And I can't afford to have all... I can't afford to have all that firepower or all the shock locking onto my troops and killing them all. So we are just going to drop a few more of my... Whatever was it called. Okay. And we're going to be doing a flare up here. Get out of the range of the shock launcher, hopefully. Nope. It looks like we're still going to be in it, but that is fine. And hopefully we'll be able to beat the base. And a level 58 with all heavies, guys, I got to say, that is an accomplishment. Uh... And it looks like we will beat the base. And I am super proud of myself right now. I was not expecting to beat the base. And we did not lose too many. So, I mean, it's not the worst troop like I was saying. This goes to show you when you have a lot of HP on your troops, you could easily, easily, easily wipe out a base. So, um, yes, I hope you all liked the video. I definitely loved making this video. So, be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Be sure to like the video. If you liked the video and tell me what strategies you want me to try or if you have any questions for the game and I will try to answer those as best as I can in the comments. So yes, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry.